friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and we have officially owned the nursery for just about a week now. And I wanted to bring you guys up to speed with some of the stuff we've been able to start right away. Obviously cleaning and we've been weeding inside the greenhouses because weeds are just growing up everywhere. We started to wash windows and stuff like that, but honestly there are several layers and layers and layers. So we have having to wash the windows multiple times and obviously some sweeping and stuff like that. But the bigger projects that we were able to get done, my mom just happened to have some concrete paint in a similar color gray that I was kind of going for, for the outer um, perimeter of the greenhouses. Break, we're taking a break. Taking a break, uh, taking no. A break. Did you get permission? I gave it to myself. <laughs> oh. My mom and my aunt started painting the concrete, the cinder blocks that are the outside of greenhouse one right away. Those are structurally okay. There are some chips out of some blocks, nothing that can't be fixed up. So in order to just make it look better right away, they got to work painting the outside of the greenhouse and it made an immediate difference. And you know what made the like a huge impact right away was just taking care of the weeds. My cousin Lucas came over and he trimmed everything all the way around, mowed the lawn, got rid of about five foot tall weeds that were all over the place. And the neighbors walking by and people in the community were already commenting and just saying, wow, what a difference just doing that made. So that was exciting. And so they started painting the one side of the cinder blocks. I think it looks good. And then that's when I started to make plans with my cousin. And we're finding out that basically all of the plywood, base, it's not plywood. There's like fake like texture 111 on the sides of the front of the greenhouse and on this retail space that I'm standing in right now. All of that wood has rotted. And you think this is just from the snow sitting here, rotting this out? Absolutely, there's insulation there. Okay, so we have insulation in some spots and some not in others, and most places, no. And the studs are good, and the frame, those are good, but the outer wood is basically falling apart when we touch it. Oh yeah. So we went ahead and got zip board, and we're gonna replace that with basically a plywood, and then we are going to obviously put some siding on the outside of the greenhouses. So. We were able to kind of come up with a plan. I went and purchased enough supplies to get the first one started. And so we're gonna work slow and one at a time. And we're gonna work on the outside facade first because I think it's very important for the community to see um, something happening. This is what we've done this week. So we were able to completely paint the cinder blocks all the way around. When I say we, I mean my mom and my aunt and my sister helped out a little bit with the paint. So silly, they literally played a joke on me, making, trying to make me think that they didn't have enough paint to finish. We have a problem. What's the problem? We ran out of paint. Show me. We can't finish. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh God. You can't get it done, can't you can't get it out. Yeah. We can't, can't get, get no more out of there. Completely gone. Okay, I need you to... Oh, oh. boy. They're such goofballs and uh, it's nice to see them together. Um, that's my dad's sister and my mom. So they're former sister-in-laws. I mean, like 25 years ago, they were sister-in-laws and they just get along so well. So that's lovely to see. And that is the cousin construction crew. My cousin Lucas and my cousin Michael, they're the ones that were helping me um, on the, the facade, the beautifulness of the front. I'm very excited about how it's looking so far. Even just taking off the rotten wood and putting up the plywood is a million times better. And I'm not even started, haven't even started yet. We basically demolished the front of greenhouse number one and we were able to just put up the plywood. So we just put up the plywood. It has been unbelievably difficult to come across the right sized windows that I want. I wanted to replicate the windows. I wanted it to have a very similar look. Those windows 
were falling apart when my cousin was working on them in the front. So we just took them out and they're garbage. There's no saving them. The wood was disintegrating. I couldn't believe how they were even still up standing there. We um, tracked down some windows. They're not the exact same size, but it's going to give me the same feel. They're a little bit narrower, but they are the same height. So they're gonna be a little bit different looking on the front, but I think overall, they're gonna be okay. I actually just went and picked up the windows for all three of the greenhouses because the fourth greenhouse has a completely different look. So that one doesn't have windows in the front. Those are in the back of my car right now and they are not cheap. They are only single hung windows and they were $200 a piece. So I got six of them because that's how many I needed. So they're in the back of my car right now and um, that's for the long haul, right? I only need two now because we're only working on the first greenhouse, but it has been awesome to see the slow transition just in the first week. It's been really fantastic and so many people are showing their support online and in person. Obviously, we went to the Boomville Fair. People were just coming up to me at the fair just saying congratulations and we're so excited to see what you were going to do to that place. I also got new sunglasses at the fair. Three new pairs of heart-shaped sunglasses. It was pretty amazing. I told the lady, I was like, I need all of these. <laughs> Here is the difference, the front of greenhouse one. Here is a before and not really an after, but just one week in. And this is just progress. I'm so excited about it. What else have we done? Let's go take a look. We even turned on the drip, the irrigation system, to see what was working and what wasn't. That was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that much. Oh, it's all over. Yeah, the drip system in greenhouse three and one. So drip is in one and three. Those two, uh, I would say about 50% of them had froze with water in it because the they were never drained at the end of the season. So they were cracked and you could see specifically where they cracked and even one broke off in Brad's hand. It was just so brittle from the weather and not being used for years. Honestly, I think they've been kinked so long that- I know, I thought the same. Well, Look, this one, drip. they've got a bread tie on this one. The irrigation system definitely has to be replaced. And again, guys, thank you so much for all of your donations for renovations for the nursery. It's honestly made a huge difference. I feel like I've caught up from the, the shock of the closing costs. I've caught up from that. And now um, I'm just it's like full steam ahead. We're gonna do this right. And I want to, I was telling Brad the other day, and it's probably noisy in here. I'm gonna go back in the other room. I was telling Brad the other day, this place and um, it's, it's how a lot of things are done, right? So this place, anytime someone did anything new, it was done on top of what was old. So there's a lot of old wiring and old pipes and old this and old that. And I want to do it justice. I want to get rid of all that. It's carrying so much extra weight and I cannot wait to feel how light it is once I get rid of all this extra weight and all of this extra garbage that's in here and uh, there's layer upon layer upon layer of renovation and it just needs to be stripped back to the bones and just poof, a new face. And that's what I hope to do. There are thousands of not, I wouldn't call them dirty, but dusty pots. Even all these ones on the shelf was, I don't know. We haven't really investigated what is dirty and what's just dusty i think there's a little bit of both so we've been washing pots and my nursery friends alerted me to the fact that you need to use a special solution when washing used pots because of any bacteria or fungus that can transfer from pot to pot so we're making sure to use the proper stuff a lot of this stuff is brand new in the box but it's dusty so we're just giving everything a rinse my mother-in-law and my sister they have been helping me with that 
the amount of things <laughs> that we have to wash is incredible. There are lots of new in the box containers that I'm not really that worried about. We do have a new one of these too. That's the for the blowers on the front of the greenhouses. That's a brand new cover. So we'll be using that when we, I think we might have to replace one of the fans in the front. And the plastics don't stop there. There are Veda's cones. There's oh, lots of plastics there. Oh, there's so many. Uh, so all this stuff has to be washed. I mean, we could just throw it out, but I, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to reuse as much as possible. So we set up a couple stations. We've got portable sinks um, with these plastic totes that my sister picked up. And I'm using that sink right there. And we're washing. And then whoop. Everything that we are washing, we're putting over here to dry. And uh, my daughter and her friend cleaned the tables off the other day. I would say the kids have been 50% uh, interested in what I'm doing and 50%. Can my friends come hang out at the nursery? So we found the best of both worlds happen when they can accomplish work with their friends here at the nursery. And their friends, I think, are a little bit more interested in helping out than they are. So Axel and his buddy Mitchell were helping to clean the uh, the heat mats that are here. They're just covered in dust and grime. So those were getting cleaned out. That was exciting. And then Veda and her friend Sage were cleaning out the, um, the tables in the greenhouses. We also removed a giant source of torturous smell. It was awful. The day we started moving in here the day we closed on the property last monday we came in and we're like oh what is that smell and the previous owner was here and said oh the trap went dry it's been really hot out so the trap to the sewer um they said it just went dry just run the water and the smell will go away like oh well i've heard of that before that's pretty common so i ended up um trying to run the water and the smell just wasn't going away the previous owner came to visit and this was the owner before the previous owner so two owners ago and she told me that um that smells like a pesticide that the previous owner used to use so three owners ago <laughs> she said i think was a bag of it up in the attic and sure enough we go up in the attic and she said they were told never to move it because it was a dangerous pesticide it had been there for 15 years it smelled like poo bad like poo and i was so embarrassed because you know when you close on a new property you got friends you got family you got people coming you got congratulations and they walk in i'm like i'm so sorry it smells like poo <laughs> like it was so bad but now we found the source of the smell. It was um, in a giant plastic bag inside of a giant plastic bag. So it was protected. My dad was here and he picked it up with a cardboard box, like scooped it up. And then we put it inside of another contractor bag and it's actually um, around the corner. So it's not gone, but the smell is gone. It's no longer lingering in the doorway when you come inside. What else did we do? Um, well, we figured out what we're gonna do in here, uh, what material I'm gonna do on the walls in here and stuff like that. We picked out some more paint. We painted new trim for the front of the greenhouses. My sister did a lot of the painting for the trim. Uh, we discussed and figured out what materials we're gonna use to for the siding. We were debating back and forth between vinyl siding and cement siding. And I think we're going to go with vinyl siding. My, my father-in-law works for a building supply company. So really uh, leaning heavily on, um, on him. So yeah. And then my stepdad came to visit. Wonder who's driving that. <laughs> and my grandparents came to visit. Hi. Are you going to come out? Yeah. Can I see you, this? Your permission granted to can, come inside. Can I see this new place? I thought I'd do a vlog of grandma and grandpa visiting here. And you guys have been asking me what Brad Pitt thinks about this venture. Um, my grandmother and I talk about that when she came to visit. So we'll be um, talking about those details in that vlog that's coming soon. I have five or six vlogs that I've recorded and haven't had a chance to edit. There are some projects that um, are not as in depth as we thought they were going to be. And there are other projects that are surprises. And that's just how it goes when you renovate it's going to be an exciting adventure. Things aren't, I don't think, going to move this fast all the time, but we're just trying to get as much done before the weather turns. And I know it's August and that sounds silly to say, but 
we get snow um, quite early here. Usually by the end of October, we have some significant snowfall. I am so tired. I'm gonna go drink some coffee and probably call and get some plants ordered for next year. There is a small update on how things are going the first week at the nursery. I'll try to bring you guys weekly updates, if not more often, depending on what we have going on. Some weeks are probably gonna be slow. My cousin is doing this um, on the off hours when he's not, he has his own construction business. So when he's not working on another job or in the evenings. So it's gonna be a little bit slower than normal because of um, his availability. Baby steps, one thing at a time. Whew. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Get some better lighting in here. I wanted to mention uh, a lot of you guys said focus on fixing up the house and getting a tenant. Well, the house is okay, but the house itself is fine. And there actually is a tenant there and she's been living there for about a year and she is going to stay. Uh, so I already have a tenant. So that definitely helps with the mortgage. Uh, look at this mess. It looks like up here, it looks like the houses were smashed together. This is an addition put on top of an addition on top of an addition, an addition. And that's just the way it is. But I also wanted to tell you guys um, the address. I think it's the cutest thing in the world. It's Boone Street, Booneville. Boone Street, Booneville. <sighs> Some things, man, you know, when they're meant to be, they're meant to be. Mom, what? did you huff and puff and blow this tree down? I did. <laughs> Hello? What would you do? <laughs> you need to get out of the way. Could you demonstrate how you huffed and puffed and blew it down? Uh, I said, um, Michael, could you chop this tree down? <laughs> and, and he came and obliged. He did. I know. Wow. <laughs> Ada has an obsession with traffic cones and she's always wanted to own them. And we found how many? Four. The and, one. and what's that one's name? This one? Just what are their names? Oh, I didn't name those two yet. Okay. This Petunia. Petunia. That one's Carl. And Carl. Step by step, day by day process. My voice is cracking. <laughs> the neighbor's riding his lawnmower down the road. <laughs> How's it look up there? Not good? <laughs> Not good. Oh, are you smiling? No. Are you smiling? It's all people ask for, Brad. Smile? Yes. <laughs> My voice is cracking. <laughs> <laughs>